I guess you could consider it repaving 2.0. Crews are back on Las Vegas Boulevard preparing for November's Formula One race. Now, we all remember the traffic woes it brought the first time around, right? 8 News Now reporter Ryan Matthews showing us how the Sphere's newly lit lights are making some traffic even worse. A familiar sight has raced back. A second round of repaving for November's Formula One. Wednesday, it began at the Sands intersection on the boulevard, blocking eastbound Spring Mountain and westbound Sands to drivers trying to cross the strip and diverting them instead into even more congestion sandwiched in between bumper to bumper traffic. I'm not like taxi driver. I don't have any meter. A site that rideshare driver Alia Voso says is costing him money and passengers their time. Most time the passenger complain for the time, but it is not me. It is the traffic. This repaving continues until Friday morning before a week long break, and then they come back and do it all over again the week of July 24th. But another cause for traffic headaches in the area, this big ball of light and all the people trying to see it. Sphere met the world on 4th of July. Ever since, cars have flocked to the area at night. Metro's call for service dashboard reports a handful of accidents on the streets directly next to it since it opened, not including the accidents where police were not called. These are not pedestrians. Aaron Breen, director of UNLV's Road Equity Alliance, acknowledges those causing safety concerns are the drivers parking in through lanes and running through traffic to get the perfect picture. But now, with this construction backing up and slowing down traffic, does that change anything? Absolutely, yes. Bumper to bumper traffic, you don't die. As for where people should get the perfect shot, both Sphere officials and Clark County are not recommending specific viewing areas. Reporting from the Las Vegas Strip, Ryan Matthey, A News Now. So Sphere officials add they're in constant contact with Clark County on safety. When Ryan asked the Clark County uh, today about those concerns, they actually referred us back to this interview with Commissioner Tick Seegerbloom after the 4th of July opening. If people are having car accidents outside or the people that live next door are saying we can't sleep at night, then we're going to ask them to tone it down a little bit. But, but so far, and, and there was a big display uh, 4th of July, no one complained to me, which is unusual. You can find F1 repaving dates and locations on 8newsnow.com.